Good morning. It is Tuesday, May 16th. We are on trail at 7.15 this morning, so I'm pretty proud of that. We have made a new goal that no matter where we are, we're going to stop and make camp at 5 p.m. So my personal goal is to at least go over nine. So I'm hoping that that will happen. I need it, you know, to make my goal of reaching Katahdin by the end of July. Um, let's see, for breakfast, no, I haven't talked about that too much, but I had some little baby carrots. And you know, in the baby food aisle, they have these little squeeze packets. I had one of those that is strawberry mango, kind of like applesauce, and that was good. I liked it. Um, but I have a lot more calorie dense foods for later. Um, so I'll show you my food, I think, today. Let's see, we have an up, and then it's kind of like a lot of baby ups and downs the rest of the day. We're hoping that the trail will be kind. Right now it is. Hold on, I'll show you what it looks like. See, the trail isn't bad at all right now. So I'm hoping that it will just continue like this. Wouldn't that be nice just to have a, a break from the giant car-sized boulders to climb over? So right now it's good and decent. And I hope all of you are having a great day. I will talk to you later. We're also trying to catch up to Betty. So we'll see if we can catch her tonight. I was gonna tell you, weather-wise, it has been really great. Like, you know, um, really, really nice. I love the heat. It's my favorite. But today I think we're gonna have a high of 75 and then it's gonna start dropping. Tonight I think we'll have a low of 47 maybe, 45. And then tomorrow, a high of 59 I think during the day. And then it's gonna drop into the 30s at night. So we're trying to prepare for that. Make sure we have enough warmth and everything. And then as we move forward a couple of days, I think we're gonna hit some rain. So right now, I'm just loving the sunshine. Even though it's a little cold right now, I wish I had my gloves on, but I don't, and they're way packed in the back of my bag and I'm not getting them out. So, um, hoping it will warm up soon because my hands are very, very cold. <laughs> Hey, hey, you know, I was thinking that at this point, tomorrow will be four weeks that I will have been out on trail. And while I would like to be going like even 15, 16, 17 miles a day, I don't think it's the right thing to do. So I think it's a good thing we're taking more of a relaxed pace um, this week. And I think it's good for my body, you know, to do this. And even though I want to do something, uh, wanting and needing are two different things. So, um, where I'm trying to get to is accepting this is the pace this week and that's what I need versus what I want. That probably doesn't make any sense, but philosophically, it does in my head while I was walking. And so I thought I would share it with you. <laughs> you know, if you're faced with something in your life and you're like, oh, I want to do this right now. But you can't because of money or time or job or whatever. Maybe it's not what you need. So maybe together all of us can figure this out. It is just after five on Tuesday the 16th and Kat and I are on our last mile of the day. We're gonna go ahead and cut it short today. But look at this rock wall, isn't that beautiful? That's so pretty. And we're like walking, I don't know. It's like, you can look down there 
that's way down. And then over here is way down. And then you have this rock wall that's holding us up. It's beautiful. Um, we just heard from Betty. She is like 13 miles ahead. So she is just rocking it. So that's very cool. I'm very excited for her. And Kath and I have had a great hiking day and we're going to set up um, pretty soon because it's supposed to get cold tonight. I think tonight. No, I'm sorry. Tonight's 49, 40 something. Tomorrow is going to be in the low 30s. So tomorrow afternoon, it will be like, I think in the high 50s. So, you know, for this Florida girl originally from Texas, that's freezing. Um, we've had a great day. We've met some cool people and everything is great. So, Anyway, I just want to show you guys that rock wall. Talk to you later. So this is kind of cool. We have a phone. Oops, I was falling on the AT, but it's called Telephone of the Wind. Though I've lost you, I can hear your voice in the silent echoes of your absence. You speak to me through, re through rustling leaves, whistling wind, and bowing branches. Though I've lost you, I feel you here in the shrine of trees and nature's sanctuary. So this Telephone of the Wind is for all who grieve. You are welcome to find solace here. Please use it to connect with those you have lost to feel the comfort of their memory. May you hear their voices in the wind. May you be at peace with your losses. That is really cool. That is. Yeah. I love that. And if you guys want to share your Telephone of the Wind story, at wind.phone.newyork on Instagram. That's kind of cool. You know, just when you... Anyway, I dialed my old, um, look, right here. I dialed my old number from when I was a child. And that was kind of cool. And it was like I was talking to my mom, my dad. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. So when you least expect it, your grief. can get you past some sad moments, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, that was just really cool to get to pretend that I heard her voice. Okay. We walked where I showed you along the AT and then it spit us out on this road and now we're literally going back the same direction that we just came from. <sighs> but way down there where that green sign is, that van's just now passing it, is where we think we turn. Craziness. Cray cray. We are ready to stop for the day. And we are trying to stealth camp, but this is what we're faced with. There's nothing where we can set up tents anywhere. It's just like, brush everywhere so we have to keep walking and we're hoping that around the next bend we'll find something and we've been hoping that for about 20 minutes but hopefully around the next bend we will find a great spot All right, so it's now 8 p.m. There was not a campsite around the corner. We tried to make a campsite, but it just didn't work. So now we have made it to half a mile from the shelter, which means we've gone over 10 today. Um, I'll figure it out later exactly, but that's what, not what we were expecting to do. So we're kind of proud, even though we're exhausted. And we're trying to get there before it gets dark. So even though it looks light behind me, in front of me, it's getting darker. So we're just trying to get out of these woods and 
hope that there's space at the shelter and if there's not then we're gonna set up our stuff and anyway we'll keep you posted all right so we just kind of made it out of the woods and we see our first view of the lake we've been circling it for hours um it's called canopus lake and i can't remember the name of this park it starts with an f Ugh. but what that means is that we are getting closer Look, you'd almost think I'm back home in Florida with the white sand. This is the beach for Canopy Lake. We're out of the woods. We made it out of all that. <laughs> we survived! <laughs>